Howdy folks, uh, Kathy Williams, the Reese here, uh, welcoming you to a uh, um, another video in my series of videos on introducing all the major and minor keys of the scale um, and uh, not just not just the scales themselves uh, but uh, all the different variations of the scale. Um, I'm using three books, the uh, Thurston uh, method, uh, the Behrman method and the Closet method. Actually there are two Closet methods. Uh, one a little bit more comprehensive than the other. I have a lovely hardback edition although I think it is in paperback now. Um, so today uh, we're looking at B flat major and G minor uh, and uh, uh, what we're looking at with these two keys or with this set, this uh, key signature is a flat B flat and a flat E. Um, B flat major scale is no major drama um, but it is a good way to practice um, both fingerings on your lower E flat, on your Shalamo E flat. <laughs> I personally um, prefer to keep my E flat in the left hand as much as possible. Uh, this one here, the one with the banana key, rather than the one that uses the right hand, but it is a good avenue to practice both. So, um, B flat major isn't a real drama. Um, this is from the Thurston. It is slightly different in the bare mom, but as I said, I use the Thurston method because the scales are clumped together. Whereas in the bare mom, um, it does all the keys of the scale, um, and it's grouped by scale type. So normal scale, and then you've got your interrupted scale, returning scale, um, arpeggios, dominant sevens, all that sort of thing. So if you're looking to work in a particular key, I do uh, recommend the Thurston, although do um, refer to the Behrman. Um, I haven't practiced for about a week or so, um, so I went back to my lovely uh, Behrman and practiced just the um, first lot of scales. Um, and uh, that's quite a good warm-up. Another good warm-up is the Close daily practice as well. That's also excellent. But for power purposes, the B-flat major etc. Sorry, in natural love. Sorry, I was just a little bit... Uh... Um, now, the Behrman and the Thurston are slightly different because at the end, uh, the Thurston just goes whereas the uh, Behrman ends on an arpeggio. Um, and, oh yeah, so... Now, uh, for these um, arpeggios at the end, I do recommend you use the long uh, B flat. Um, it is, that's a good place to use it. Don't please note that you cannot use this fingering down the twelfth, uh, as it will give you a very very sharp E flat, and you don't want that, and it's lazy. Um, G minor, uh, no drama. Um, now it's slightly different here because um, for some reason the G minor scale isn't um, repeated in the Thurston where it is in the Behrman and it's slightly different at the end whereas the Behrman you have the um, you have the arpeggio. Um, try to get a very smooth, uh, but 
we'll talk about that more in the um, when we come to do the arpeggios and broken chords. Um, and then we come to uh, the B flat major uh, interrupted scale. Um, here you will need to use both fingerings of the E flat uh, in the first uh, the first couple of um, uh, of interruptions, um, you go from an E flat to a C. There is only the one thing you can use. Although from there you can keep it all in the left hand. So we go. See, we go from that E flat to the C. But for the rest of it, and note that up the octave. That you will need to use the left hand C and in fact in the keys from now on in the flat keys from now on you might you will have to use the left hand C there's no getting around it so For the rest of the um, scale, you can use the left hand E flat. And uh, let me just check the interrupted scales in the Behrman. It's pretty much, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty much the same. Um, although I do encourage you to repeat. And note that from the G onwards you can leave the right hand down just to make things a little bit easier for you going from the B flat to the C. Um, and in G minor um, you've um, got the E natural from the melodic scale so there's no um, there's no E flat to C dramas. And uh, now, we're continuing on with the interrupted scale, you have the um, you have the interrupted scale at the octave. Um, you can um, choose which E flat you wish to use, but you will need to use the left hand C when you're going from the E flat. Uh, there, you will need to use the right hand E flat because you're going from a D to an E flat. There's no getting around that. hand E flat to get up to the D. The uh, G minor one is more comprehensive because it actually does go the whole three octaves. B flat um, to get to the C. Uh, you will have to use the right hand B flat there. the right hand E flat there to get to the D. Um, 
top F sharp, mainly just use the, the regular one because it's going so fast. I don't think it's a huge issue with tuning. Um, and, uh, the, um, and if you do choose to do the harmonic minor, And I suppose getting up, uh, um, I would use the forked F sharp there. weird but it's a really good uh, these are really good exercises to help to get you know the keys of the scale and from um, from there we come to the returning scale um, and I believe there's some really good um, left hand work in there for you but uh, you will need to use both fingerings excuse me <laughs> both fingerings of E flat here so the first lot you can use the left hand E flat but you will need to use the right hand E flat when you're going from the C to the E flat <laughs> And C there to get to the E flat. Do stick the banana key down on that F. And you see there that uh, I had to use the uh, right handed fingering of the B flat to get to the D. You want that really smooth. Um, with B flat major, always be aware of your C to E flats. Uh, and in fact the B flat major fingering exercise at the beginning of the Thurston is very helpful because it does just that G to B flat and then A to F because you want both fingers you want all fingers to move at once you don't want you don't want that so practice that exercise For some reason that high fingerings, the high fingerings harder, but you want and also going from B flat to D is quite complicated as well. So from uh, there we go to the arpeggios. Um, the B flat major arpeggios, no real drama. You can use the long B flat, it's wonderful. It's brilliant. Now the G minor arpeggio can really tear you to shreds because we're doing and also working out which G fingering you want to use. I tend to want to use one, three, one, two, and E flat key because you can guarantee it'll come out. What you can't guarantee it'll come out will be this G fingering unless you stick this finger down as well. And you can use it. It's the least amount of fingers to, to use, otherwise. 
But either one is good. What is the real um, challenge is the broken chords or number four. Um, B flat major again, not really a drama. Oh, you can use that long B flat. But make sure you get a clean D to B flat. And make sure you get the thumb away from the red, the, the hole uh, on the B flat because that does sound yucky otherwise. And um, I don't know if you can see that, but see how I really uh, bend my thumb to avoid that. Um, yeah, I think you can see that. G minor, on the other hand, a real challenge. Uh, working out what G you want to use. You can use that G, I tongued it, um, that G, or that G. No, you can't use the long B flat there because you're going to a G. That's probably a better G. Uh, you can use the long B flat to go to the D, but you will need to finger it out once you go from the G. Um, so that's quite challenging. Um, for um, B flat major scale, um, your diminished chord will start on the B natural. Uh, which is the one that requires um, the F to A flat. So you would. This is the particular um, diminished chord that will need um, F to A flat. Um, actually, when I wanted to force myself to start using um, the left-handed C, I practiced a lot of diminished chords, um, and I found that very, very helpful. Um, and continuing on from the uh, broken chords, we come to the dominant seventh of B flat major. Uh, no real dramas there. Be aware that you will need to use the left handed C. And when playing the F, leave the banana key on. Um, but make sure that you touch it right near the, um, the bridge, the bridge work. Otherwise you do risk pushing the um, ringed keys down, you don't want that. See how I play it so close to the, to the key work. scope for you to use that left-handed C there. Uh, and then after the repeat, uh, when you're going to the sort of sixes and sevenths, and here you've got to, you've got to use this E flat. Um, don't even think about using that E flat, it, uh, it sounds rubbish. Ah, now here, uh, that E flat, you will need to use uh, this. Think you will need to use that fingering. Uh, notice how I've. Okay. Um, you actually have to uh, half hold the um, third finger on the right hand, otherwise it's flat. So. get those 
those intervals to not squeak, I do drop the jaw a little bit as well. practicing that slowly. So here you will need to use that fingering in order to get to the E flat. It just won't work any other way. Um, so that's the dominant seventh. We now come to the scales in thirds. Now there's a few different um, scales and thirds you can use. There is a very, very brilliant exercise that covers all the scales in thirds in the close A. Uh, well, actually, he's got two um, in the um, in the big hardback close A. Um, he's got just the straight, uh, just the straight third. <laughs> Be aware of the G to B flat and the C to E flat. And in G minor as well. But um, also do the scales in thirds in the Behrman and Thurston, which are quite a deal more challenging, especially in the G, um, because uh, as well as the you also have and be aware, get, get, get the thumb away from the B flat. disappointing it doesn't go all the way up into the third octave I think that would actually be most helpful but it doesn't it only goes up to the top C and may I also show you um, bloody pigsty uh, there is uh, an excellent thirds exercise in the Londoners, uh, which must be somewhere down there. Um, let's see if this is it. There's an excellent thirds. E no, it's not what I want. Yeah, there, but there is an excellent thirds exercise in the Londoners method uh, as well. That's more difficult. That's more difficult uh, than the Behrman close A. Um, actually, my, oh, as I've got this close A here, there's a very excellent thirds exercise in the close A uh, on page 112 in the daily practice. Um, I'm just wondering if this goes up to the top. Gee, no, it doesn't. But it's a, it's a really, really good exercise. <laughs> And then from the, and note that I, these, um, the bear mine only does the scales in melodic minors, which can be a little bit frustrating. Um, and then we come to the scales in six. Um, and I don't think there's really any major, uh, and again, don't be lazy, fully finger out the E flat. <laughs> Again, going from the D to B flat, get get the thumb away from the away from the, the thumb hole. Um, to tune the F, put down uh, the the uh, banana key. Um, in the 
the G minor unfortunately it only goes up to a C it doesn't really tackle it doesn't really ch tackle the third octave which is disappointing <laughs> In this case, you can use. Um, well, yeah, it's up to you. Uh, there, I would use the full B flat. It's completely up to you. Uh, so that is B flat major and uh, G minor. Um, please join me for A major and F sharp minor are uh, considerably more difficult because uh, you have sort of the odd double sharp in there uh, factoring that in as well. So um, that's my take on the two on the on uh, B flat major B flat major and G minor. Um, any further questions? Do not hesitate to contact me. Uh, Kathy Williams DeVries via Skype. Um, friend me on Facebook, Kathy Williams DeVries 2. Don't worry about the original Kathy Williams DeVries. I've got 5,000 friends on there already. Bummer. Um, and don't worry about web clarinet lessons because I don't have control of that account anymore, which is unfortunate. Um, email Kathleen Williams 76 at bigpond.com. Web clarinet lessons at, at gmail.com. Uh, Brisbane clarinetist at gmail.com. Um, also, my website uh, www.kathywilliams76.com. Uh, I'm also on Twitter, Kathy Williams76. Uh, and I can't think of any 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 else. Um, it's all on my website. Uh, this video will appear on my website once it is uploaded. Um, lots of good stuff on the website um, and it's uh, all on different pages so if you need uh, something on Brahms there is a Brahms page uh, something on Cesson um, I probably will do a page on Close A eventually uh, but this will be on the learning your scales tab so thanks for listening and bye for now